Hi, here at Long Beach Therapy, we offer different kinds of therapy. We offer traditional talk therapy that, you know, is what most people think about when they think of therapy. Um, we offer trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy for people who've had trauma in their life. We also offer EMDR, which is also helpful for trauma, and it's evidence-based in trauma and proven to help people that are dealing with complex PTSD, uh, PTSD in general, anxiety, phobias, sexual dysfunction, uh, but it also can help other things like depression and you know just general self-esteem issues. And how that works is that it works to focus on adverse life experiences. And I'll explain what that is in a minute. But it doesn't have to focus on a specific trauma per se. So, you know, you could have self-esteem issues or whatever because of a trauma, or you get a PTSD because of a trauma, like being held up at gunpoint or being assaulted or something like that, that could be very traumatic or witnessing something. Um, but also a lot of people have issues that come into therapy that aren't based in a trauma, that are based in what's called an adverse life experience. And what an adverse life experience is, is basically something that happened to you that caused you to have a belief system that then you make decisions based upon. So let me give you an example. So if you know a kid is seven years old and they're playing baseball and they're up to bat and they strike out and they look up at their mom or their dad and, and their mom or dad um, gives them like, you know, a side eye look or something like that, um, or is looking unhappy or whatever. You know, the parent might have just been told something that they were annoyed by or had something else that the kid didn't even, you know, wasn't even aware was happening. But they're assuming that it had to do with their parents seeing them strike out, which maybe it did. But that then gets stored as a negative belief, such as I'm not good enough or I'm a failure or I'm at fault for everything. And these adverse life experiences can cause different beliefs about yourself um, you know, I'm not safe. I'm not, you know, good enough. I, whatever, right? You know, people have different things that hold them back, different beliefs about themselves. Um, I'm not good enough. That sort of thing really, you know, causes people to make different choices in their life than they would otherwise. Maybe they choose the spouse or the partner that's not really good to them because they don't feel good enough. They don't believe that they deserve better. And so basically, you know, with traditional therapy, they work on your thinking or your feeling part of your brain. So your cerebral cortex or your limbic part of the brain. And it doesn't really address the brain so much as the primitive survival part of your brain. And so EMDR works on all three parts of your brain. So in traditional talk therapy, it, it helps for a number of people, a lot of people, probably even most people. And that's because their, their adverse life experience or their issue is stored in their thinking part of their brain or their feeling part of the brain. But what happens when something is stored in your brainstem, in your primitive part of your brain? Traditional talk therapy isn't gonna necessarily work for that. And so typically all three levels of your brain don't work together because it's not really safe for them to work together. I'll give you an example. So if you're about to get hit by a car, it doesn't really matter what you think about the car, how you feel about the car, you just need to get out of the way. And so the brainstem, the primitive survival part of your brain, sort of turns off those other two parts of the brain and takes over until you have survived. And then it may allow those other two to just turn right back on and then you could talk about how you feel you're scared about like what just happened or you know, you're thinking about it about the person not driving right, or the make, or the model of the car, or whatever that is. But if that experience is stored in your primitive part of the brain, and then you're making decisions in life based on that belief that you, that you had from that adverse life experience, traditional talk therapy might not really address it. And so you might not feel like you totally get better. And so what EMDR does is it's a system where it allows all three parts of the brain to work together. And so that regardless of where that issue or, or adverse life experience is stored, that we can, we can get to it. And so when you get to that adverse life experience that has caused other decisions and thoughts and beliefs about yourself to, to happen, 
then you're taking out the foundation of that negative thinking or that negative belief or those bad decisions. And so when that's taken out, when that's taken care of, when that's processed, then most of the other issues will take care of themselves. And sometimes problems might have like five or 10 pillars, right? Adverse life experiences, issues. And so we address each one of them. So that way, eventually that negative belief, the negative behavior, the thing that you don't like that, that might be keeping you from your full success, from your full happiness in life can be taken care of. And although no therapy can be promised to work with everybody, um, EMDR is research-based in a lot of different things and they're finding more and more that it's working with things that you wouldn't normally think of. So if you have questions or you wanna hear more about it, please give me a call or text or email or check out longbeachtherapy.com slash EMDR to hear more or read more. Take care of yourself.